this is a sleeper wall, a tutorial. First off, you've got to get a string line perfectly on a set square. It's going to be raised three sleepers high, backfilled with 60 tonne of soil, loads of turf. This is day one. String line's up. I was about to get dug. Let's go. We're using our 2.4 meter sleepers. A post fix it says it sets in three minutes, which talks out as bum out. Uh, so you need to dig your holes two and a half foot. I'm going to use three bags of post fix. You're going to put your first post in on the edge of your square, then one at halfway, then one on the joiner to carry two posts. Um, it's going to be holding 60 ton of topsoil, so that's why you're using three bags. Don't be a cheapskate. Right, an hour into work, you need to get get energy, yeah? Keep hydrated. You don't want water, because water is not no good for you. You need a bit of energy. So lots of fizz, lots of sugar. So we've got two in the middle. Obviously, there's going to be a hole in the middle, because you need overkill for six foot. I've left these high, because once the sleeper wall's coming in to about that height, soil and all that, this is going to be two rails, post and rail so they can see their view over to the lovely field behind, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, your holes have got to be two foot deep, like that. All right, we're at a foot here. It's got to have another foot on it, otherwise it's gonna fall over. After this is done, you can chuck a grenade at it, it won't go nowhere. And there's my fence from the other day. You can mug it off all you like, but I won't take an offense. Two hours later, you've got half the wall up. Bang on the bubble. That one's gonna get chopped down. That one's gonna stay up. That one's gonna stay up. Two rails going up on there. Ready to get backfilled. All that's gonna be backfilled with soil up to that level there. Beautiful, look how good it looks. These are the timber drive screws you need. You need a Milwaukee so you ain't gotta do a pilot hole. Perfect to use. Go straight through like that. When doing it, obviously your screws are gonna be Pretty much you've got to get them in line because it's going to be an eyesore if not. Don't never buy one of these. Someone's family heirloom. It's gave up on us today, but we'll go again tomorrow. Then we're going to go up there tomorrow along that string line, bring in that wall, finish off the wall down there. Great progress. That is that. One beautiful, straight sleeper wall. We'll see. That post can be cut down. That post can be cut down. That post can be cut down. Two rails, top rail, bottom rail, top rail, bottom rail, all the way across. All that's going to be sawed in there. Tuft, laurels, bit of mulch, beautiful. Oh, very hard dig here. Look at these concrete bases you've got to go through. You've got a couple of posts in so far. That's how the back thing's going to finish. So yeah, it's going to be coming from four. That'd be three. That'd probably be three again. This would be two high. And eventually to one high. And always, if you've got something to tell the customer, you better tell him. Okay. Craig's got a smelly vagina because you got to tell them if you're not happy and that's a chicken and donna wrap it's all up all on the bubble all square it's got backfill with 60 ton of soil and you need to get some weed proof seat in so the weeds don't pop through all your cracks i don't mean your butt crack yeah so gonna staple that up there Yeah, it looks sexy. Bit of a banana rail, but won't change that. Well done.